Hello people, welcome back to my channel and to yet another wonderful Geek Gear Wizardry unboxing. This time it is the special edition box for June and I swear this is bigger than usual. I know it's the special edition one and the special edition ones are bigger than the standard ones but yeah, I just, I just have the feeling it's much bigger than usual. Little disclaimer, I actually had to get this from the post office because I wasn't here when it was delivered and I rode down on my bike because I don't drive and so that's the only other way I could get there. I was having a bit of trouble in figuring out how I was going to carry this home. I took two separate bags with me thinking, oh it will definitely fit in the bigger one but the smaller one was a backpack so I was hoping it would fit in there. It didn't fit in either so I had to kind of just lodge it in the bigger one and have it on my hand while cycling home so yeah that was today that was earlier today so I've gone to a lot of trouble to get this video up today so I hope you are grateful. I think that definitely deserves a like on this video don't you? Okay so yes I want to get on with unboxing this video so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to my channel then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner. Right let's get on with it so this is actually quite heavy i'm really excited about it. i've got a good feeling about this one come on give you guys the first little look if i can get that flap open there's the item list so there you go okay what are we gonna look at first i'm liking the look of the one of the wearables i forget there's two in here there's usually a t-shirt normal standard t-shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt i like the look of this one is this the t-shirt or the long sleeve this is the long sleeve one so here it is okay so it's another hogwarts house themed one it has all of the hogwarts mascots on it so up the top here we have an eagle i love that geek gear use eagle and not raven we have a snake a badger and a lion and we have a lightning bolt in the inside and a h and a crest and lots of other stuff going on. I actually really genuinely like this. I love the color, it's a nice dark navy blue. Yeah, this is a win and a nice start to the box. Next up is a licensed item and it is a travel mug. We get a few of these in these special edition boxes but we've not had one in a while and I don't mind getting them because they are very useful to have. I'm getting a steady collection of travel mugs now, not just normal standard mugs and I'm glad that we do get travel mugs and not just normal mugs all the time so yeah I, I, I don't mind this at all. Come on out of the box you know you want to. Uh, I really like this one this is a Molly Weasley quote and I love that it's orange because it's a Molly Weasley quote. Just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip your wands out for everything. Molly Weasley says this to her twins Fred and George in the fifth film slash book. Just such a satisfying moment in the film and yeah I love that. I love the quote. I love the whole style of it. It's a bit dusty but I'm gonna wash it before I use it anyway so that's that's fine. Yeah again another win. I really like this. Okay let's get up the other wearable in the box. This is a standard t-shirt and it's black. So this is another one of those things that Geek Gear have been doing lately where they just have a lot of stuff going on in the t-shirt and you have to really stare at it to see what's going on. So right in the middle, I'll start with that. We have a little Hogwarts castle, which is quite cute. Around these little circles, there's flying keys. There are lightning bolts going around there. And then in this circle, there are four dangliers and sorting hats. And then it says wizard and world. I, I definitely prefer the other wearable we got in this one. I'm, I'm not really a fan of these kind of patterns. I feel like these are more like a masculine design, personally. I know that all of these t-shirts are unisex, so that's absolutely fine with me. Not a fan of this. Let me know what you guys think of this t-shirt. A, a few people liked the t-shirt in the standard edition box when I said that I didn't really like it that much, so I know that everyone's opinions are different and everyone's opinions are valid, so that's fair enough. I preferred the first wearable we got in this box, but it's still nice quality. We have a proclamation. Yes, we have a proclamation. Let's see what proclamation we have this time. Educational decree number 30. No music is to be played during study hours. It's a bit of a weird one because I know in the fifth film music is played and they have wirelesses in Hogwarts and that's one of the most annoying things about the fifth film. It has the whole aesthetic of it being a teenage boarding school and it works and all that stuff but wirelesses are not supposed to work in Hogwarts because of all the magic flying around and that just it just irritated me. Again I enjoyed the scenes where music is played because you know, they're teenagers, they're in a boarding school, of course they're gonna have music if it was in a muggle school. It's just the fact that it shouldn't work in Hogwarts, so this proclamation shouldn't be canon, but I still love it, I still accept it, 
and it's gonna join my other proclamations. So yeah, I'm not mad about it at all. It's just it's just a little nitty gritty detail in the fifth film that just gets to me a little bit. We have another Geek Gear Wizardry unique wand. So we might as well just get this out of the box now. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. I really like this one. Here is the wand. So it's nice and straight, it's very woody. And look at this on the end. That is so cool, I love this. This is a Lapis Philosophium wand, 13 and a half inches as they all are. Core Vestral Tail Hair, I love that. And Wood Type Rich Cherry. Cherry Wallace would love this one. <laughs> the fact that it says Philosophorium wand, if I'm pronouncing that right. And when I first looked at this, I thought instantly of the Philosopher's Stone. So I wonder if that's what they were kind of getting at with the name of this wand. Like it's kind of based on the Philosopher's Stone. But either way, I love this. This is one of my favorite ones that Geek Gear have done. My box was packed with love and care by Darren. Thank you, Darren, I've had you before. And again, I'm gonna complain. Why have you got a Christmas hat on? You do you, I guess. <laughs> and now let's have a look at the scratch card to see if I've won anything. Oh, I have won. I have won 10% off your next renewal. So yeah, I've got 10% off my next box. I didn't actually use the last one I got. I got 10% off my next renewal before because I forgot. And because my special edition and my standard edition boxes are on like automatic renewal, I just... I. I just don't really bother with this. If I get like one-off boxes like the like the limited editions or Cherry Wallace's box, I've pre-ordered Cherry Wallace's box by the way, so you'll be getting an unboxing on that. Although with the Cherry Wallace's box, you couldn't use the discount code because I did try. I even tried Cherry Wallace's discount code and it didn't work. But with the limited edition boxes, I use either Awesome 20 or Cherry 10, the two codes that you can use in Geek Gear, if you didn't know. But yeah, if I remember, I'll use it. I can get 10% off my next special edition box, so why not? We have another print in this beautiful paper, which means this is probably another Kevin Cantwell print. Did I get the artist's name right? And I love those prints, the Dobby one and the Phoenix one, so I'm hoping this is one of these again oh this is this is this is fantastic just look at that it's elvis dumbledore that is so lovely i love these prints so much they're so cool again it is from kevin cantwell but yeah i do love the colors i love the detail yeah i really love these prints they they can keep coming i don't mind although i'm gonna have to buy more a3 frames <laughs> do you know how expensive a3 frames are as opposed to a4 but yeah i really love that that's another win in this box the tea in this box is another phoenix tears tea as usual, they do duplicates on the teas, which are fine by me, I don't mind that. So yeah, Phoenix Tears Tea, ingredients, white tea, peach pieces, apple pieces, grapes, flavouring, and sunflower petals. I've yet to try the last lot we've got, but I definitely have to try it now that I've got two. So yeah, Phoenix Tears Tea. It can't be much more left in here. Ooh, what are you? 21 magnets. Have we really got 21 magnets in here? I actually have 21 magnets. Well, these are actually really nice, actually. They're not huge, but I'm glad about that because I've already got a lot of magnets on my fridge. <laughs> this is actually brilliant. Okay, so on this one, we have nine and three quarters. We have a Hogwarts wax seal. We have the four Hogwarts crests. So Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. We have a Ministry of Magic wax seal, a Ollivander's logo thing and something from Fred and George's shop and on the other one we have this really sweet cute Harry Potter acceptance letter we have a wanted poster for Bellatrix Lestrange a golden snitch a Hogwarts crest a horn slugs mixture so is that like a potion ingredients we have a scarab beetle mixture a Privet Drive sign, a Diagon Alley sign, a Hogwarts Express ticket, and a sorting hat. This is actually so cool. I didn't expect to actually get 21 magnets in here. I'm not gonna use all of them. I don't have enough room to use all of them. I absolutely love this. Is this what I think it is? So the last item in the box, it is a Geek Gear license exclusive. I can see a cover of the first film. There are other things in here and I'm wondering if it's the cover of all of the films, which if it is, that is just so cool. That is, that is awesome. It is! It is! This is so cool. So we have little prints of all of the film covers. So we have The Philosopher's Stone, The Chamber of Secrets. Oh, so, so nostalgic looking at these covers. 
The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, ooh, The Falling, <laughs> Deathly Hallows 1 and Deathly Hallows 2. These are so cool. I These are definitely going on my wall, so, oh, that, oh, yes. Oh, I just, I got so excited about all this. I don't know if I can get like an eight frame thing that I can fit all of these on or if I just get eight individual frames and just have them, I don't know, in a line somewhere. Oh my God, I'm so excited to figure out what to do with these. This is without a shadow of a doubt, the best special edition box I've ever received from Geek Gear. I will admit they haven't always been my favorite boxes to receive. The standard ones, especially recently, have been on top, have been the best. But this standard edition box, it's just blown me away. So yeah, what what is my favourite item from the box? I, I don't even know what I... <laughs> I'm just so happy about these and, and the magnets and the Dumbledore print and the wand is awesome, the proclamation. I'm, look, I'm, down, I'm looking down here because I've put them all down here. The long sleeve t-shirt. I, I just... I love almost everything in this box and I just... I've come away smiling and happy and I love that. I love that a box can make me feel like that. Let's go with the items list. June 2019, Wizard World t-shirt, house long sleeve t-shirt, signed headmaster art poster, artist is Kevin Cantwell, again. Poster A3 number 30, the proclamation, unique wand lapis philosophy, Forum. They made me say that word again. <laughs> the magnet set, the magic travel mug, and the monthly Phoenix Tears tea. But yeah, there you go. That was the Geek Gear Special Edition box for June. Please let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Is this the best special edition box they've ever done or what? Let me know. Again, like I said earlier, I'm gonna struggle to pick a favorite, but let me know down below if you guys have a favorite. I'd love to know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like because that would mean a lot to me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner? I make videos every single week, so come subscribe to join the fun. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.